Hello everyone, today we'll learn addition of ammonia and its derivatives to the carbonyl compounds. It is also the example of nucleophilic addition reaction. So this is the last example we, which we are going to study of nucleophilic addition reaction of carbonyl compounds. So uh, let us take this uh, as aldehyde and ketone. So this is our aldehyde or ketone and we will add the ammonia or its derivative which is represented by NH2Z where Z can be hydrogen, alkyl group, hydroxy group and so on. When it is added to the carbonyl compound, then what will happen? An intermediate will be formed. Now this reaction is reversible and uh, the catalyst used here is acid. So this intermediate is formed where NHZ is added to the carbonyl compound and the oxygen atom is attached to the hydrogen atom to form the alcohol. So this kind of uh, intermediate is formed. Now uh, quickly the uh, water molecule will be removed from this intermediate. Uh, this OH and hydrogen atom will be removed as the water molecule and you will get this compound. This is the product. So based on the Z group you, you have uh, we can have different names for this compound where the carbon and nitrogen atoms are attached to double bond. So if your Z group is hydrogen atom then this will be ammonia. I will show you. So if this is hydrogen atom, so now this is NH3, so this is ammonia and uh, here also there will be hydrogen atom and here the final product will also have the Z is equals to hydrogen atom. So this is our product. So this is known as imine. Imine and this is what? This is ammonia. So when you are adding ammonia to the carbonyl compound, uh, the carbon compound is aldehyde or keto, then you will get your product as imine in which carbon and nitrogen are doubly bonded to each other. Then if there is instead of hydrogen atom, if there is R that is alkyl group, then, then what will you get? So here if there is R group, here also Z will be R and the final product will also have R. So this is, this is what? This is amine. R NH2 is amine. And this is what? This is known as Skiff's base or substituted imine. So this is Skiff's base. where the nitrogen atom is attached to alkyl group. So if your uh, Z group is OH now, then this is known as hydroxyl amine, hydroxyl amine and your product will be here also Z group will be OH, so the product will be called as auxin. Now if your Z group is instead of OH, if it is uh, NH2, then what will be the product? So here you will take as NH2, so here also there will be NH2. This, uh, this is intermediate, so it is understood that Z will be the same as here. So this is NH2, if this is NH2, so this is known as hydrazine, hydrazine and here also there will be NH2, so this is known as hydrazone. So this product is known as hydrazone. Uh, now if we replace one hydrogen by phenyl group, then it will be known as phenyl hydrazine. So here you have this. 
phenyl group is attached to NH. So now this is your Z group. Uh, phenyl attached to NH. So this is your Z group. So here also C6H5 NH is the Z group. C6H5NH is your Z group now and the product will be known as phenylhydrazone. It will be known as phenylhydrazone. Uh, similarly, if there uh, is, there are NO2 group that is nitro groups on the second and fourth position then. So uh, we have added the nitro group at second and fourth position. So this becomes 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazine, this compound. And the product will be co called as 2,4-dinitrophenylhydrazone because here also this group is added as the Z group. So uh, this 2,4-DNP uh, uh, product or derivative, uh, it is used as a test to uh, determine whether our compound is uh, aldehyde or ketone because uh, this compound is uh, colored. It is uh, yellow, orange or red colored compound. This 2,4-DNP uh, derivative is always colored uh, with the aldehyde or ketone. So, it indicates that you have got the aldehyde or ketone as your uh, compound. Uh, now the last uh, last derivative uh, we will you see is semi carboxide so what is semi carboxide so for semi carboxide your z group will be nh co nh2 so this is semi carboxide semi carboxide And your product will be semi carbazone because here also the Z group will be NHCO NH2. So, this is how we will determine our product if we use the ammonia and its derivative for the aldehyde and ketones. So, uh, this was a small topic today, and next we will uh, stu uh, study the reduction. Uh, under the chemical reactions of aldehydes and ketones. I hope you have understood this topic. Thank you.